Hello everyone, I'm Jun Sung Park, working as a research professor at the Department of Bio and Brain Engineering in KAIST. I investigated biological phenomena using modeling and simulation, specifically mitochondrial network as a determinant of intracellular RS dynamics and sensitivity to oxidative stress. Among many intracellular organelles, mitochondria function mainly in production of ATP through oxidative phosphorylation in the in inner mitochondria membrane. During this respiration process, reactive oxygen species, or RS, are also produced when high-energy electrons escape before they reach the final acceptor, oxygen. Oxidative stress caused by RS can induce rapid depolarization of inner mitochondrial membrane, membrane potential and subsequent impairment oxidative phosphorylation. Even under normal conditions, 1 to 4 percent of oxygen is reduced in mitochondria by one electron reduction to generate RS, specifically superoxide and ion, which can further mediate oxidative damage to many, many intracellular components, including proteins, nucleic acids, and lipid membranes. To protect macromolecules from oxidative modifications, cells have developed antioxidant defense systems. The first RS produced in mitochondria is the highly reactive superoxide anion, and SOD converts this into a much more stable and therefore relatively inert RS, hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is reduced to water by many antioxidants and many antioxidant enzymes such as catalase, PRX, and GPX. Production of RS in mitochondria is accelerated by RS themselves. This phenomenon is called RS-induced RS, RS release or RIRR, and RS generation in only small no numbers of damaged mitochondria can affect neighboring mitochondria, eventually propagating the RS surge to the whole cell and affecting cell viability through this positive feedback loop. In cardiomyocytes, Intracellular RS propagation involves strongly reactive superoxide as the main messenger molecule. For neurons, however, conflicting studies have reported that overexpression of SOD, which is a specific antioxidant for superoxide, could aggravate oxidative stress mated neuronal cell deaths. Our experimental results also show that treatment of cells with a SOD mimetic MNTBAP under oxidative stress trigger abnormal hypopolyrate polarization of mitochondria. Also, reduction of copper zinc SOD is known to lower hydrogen peroxide toxicity, resulting in increased resistance to oxidative stress in astrocytes. These reports contradict the general understanding that the intermitochondrial messenger molecule for RIR is superoxide. So we hypothesize that under certain conditions, Hydrogen peroxide might be a more appropriate messenger molecule to propagate RS and cause whole cell RIRR because of its longer lifetime in the cytosol and high, higher permeability in membrane, membrane lipids. Based on the reports that mitochondria communicate with each other and form a dynamic network, we devised an intermitochondrial network model using agent-based modeling to examine this hypothesis. Agent-based modeling, or ABM, is a mathematical and computational technique that simulates interactions between agents within a complex system. It has a rule-based modeling format that determines probabilities to next stage at every step. Each agent in ABM has several attributes and a, a set of predefined reaction rules and therefore executes a series of operations. Because ABM does not require conversion to an equation, it is advantageous to implement biological systems, including time delay reaction, special translocation, and bias distribution. Since our model includes variables that have special information, such as the location of each mitochondrion and molecule, ABM method is suitable for our subject. In the following section, we provide detailed simulation results and describe use of the ABM in mitochondrial network dynamics and RS propagation. 
Most previous RIRR studies were based on a specialized context of intracellular mitochondrial dynamics within cardiomyocytes, taking advantage of the electrically independent distribution of rigid, lattice-like mitochondria suitable for high-precision confocal line scan imaging. In the real world, however, mitochondrial network dynamics such as the density, number, and spatial distribution can affect the pattern of virus propagation in cells. Therefore, many unknowns regarding mitochondrial dynamics and mitochondria-driven RS propagation remain, and some current experimental results do not fit the existing model. To resolve this problem, a more systemic approach to study intermitochondrial network is required. Given oxidative stress, RS acts as a messenger molecules and further affect neighboring mitochondria to produce more RS, which eventually propagate through, throughout the whole cell. In this context, mitochondrial network dynamics can provide critical determinants for cellular response to oxidative stress. Our results show that the speed of RS propagation in the cytosol, those dependency to initial oxidative stress, and overall sensitivity to, sensitivity to oxidative stress change, change in relation to mitochondrial network dynamics. We investigated how these characteristics were affected by modifying two major variables of mitochondrial network dynamics, the mitochondrial distribu distribution pattern and the number of mitochondria within the cell. Regular distribution of mitochondria is defined as a uniform distance between mitochondria as reported for cardiomyocytes, whereas an irregular distribution of mitochondria implies a random distribution of mitochondria in the cytosol. Because mitochondria are irregularly scattered in neurons, for example, this simulation implies a real-world comparison between cardiomyocytes and many other cell types that have irregular distribution of mitochondria. In addition, the number of mitochondria within a cell also differs substantially according to the cell type. Cells with particularly, particularly heavy energy demands such as cardiomyocytes contain more mitochondria compared to the other cell types. To examine how the cytosolic density of mitochondria influences the cell's response to oxidative stress, the degree of RS propagation was measured for a cardiomyocyte model and for a reduced number of mitochondria. This is a captured movie of a real simulation process. Red rectangles indicate mitochondria and white and yellow particles indicate each RS molecule. At the start of, a, of the simulation, hydrogen peroxide was introduced into a restricted center area of the cytosol to mimic initial oxidative stress. This oxidative stress affects mitochondria in the local region and affected, affected mitochondria produce more RS that propagate and affect neighboring mitochondria, eventually, eventually increasing the total intracellular RS. As the simulation proceeds, RS propagation either causes whole cell RIRR or is efficiently blocked by antioxidant enzyme systems, depending on the on the amount of initial oxidative stress and mitochondrial network dynamics. As a first result, dose dependency on initial oxidative stress was changed according to the type of mitochondrial network dynamics. Irregular distribution or low density of mitochondria makes cells vulnerable to RS propagation at mild, ox mild initial oxidative stress compared to cells with cardiomyocyte model. However, an additional high dose of initial oxidative stress does not cause a significant increase in reactive, reactive mitochondria and mitochondria-driven RS propagation. Instead, cells with regular distribution and high density of mitochondria shows rapid RS propagation and whole cell RIRR after strong initial oxidative stress, indicating a positive correlation between the number of mitochondria and those dependency on the initial oxidative stress. This result suggests that the same input of oxidative stress can cause different responses, and the eventual fate of cell is related to mitochondrial network dynamics. We hypothesize that 
previous results are caused by conversion of the main messenger RS molecules working on RS signaling. To confirm this, we modulate the amount of MnSOD, which is one of antioxidant enzymes. Because MnSOD converts superoxide to the much less reactive hydrogen peroxide in mitochondria, it can protect cells from oxidative stress. However, if RS propagation occurs in a hydrogen peroxide dependent manner, MnSOD will not provide significant protection or may even increase overall stress. Simulation results show that raised amount of MnSOD remarkably reduced reactive mitochondria and RS propagation in cardiomyocyte model. However, this protective effect of MnSOD are largely abolished in the irregular distribution and low density of mitochondrial models. This implies that change in mitochondrial network dynamics cause a transition of the RS signaling parents through conversion of the main messenger RS molecules. We consider that main messenger RS molecules are superoxide in the cardiomyocyte, whereas they switch to hydrogen peroxide in the irregular distribution and low number of mitochondria cases. Moreover, the data provide a plausible mechanism of SOD cytotoxicity in certain types of cells and in disease models. We further examine our hypothesis by changing the amount of cytosolic antioxidant copper zinc SOD and GPX1. We also added irregularly but not randomly distributed mitochondria models. Rapidly moving mitochondria model mimics the neuron whose mitochondria, mitochondria movement is known to be highly dynamic. Gradient mitochondria model implies mitochondrial clustering around the nucleus for the integrated phosphotransfer network and energetic channeling between mitochondria and nuclei. This simulation also uh, allows determining the main RS molecules working on RS propagation. If RS propagation is blocked when the amount of copper zinc SOD is raised, it is a superoxide dependent network because copper zinc SOD converts superoxide to hydrogen peroxide in the cytosol. Similarly, if an increase in cytosol, cytosolic GPX1 can block RS propagation, it means hydrogen peroxide dependent RIRR because GPX1 converts hydrogen peroxide to water. In a simulation, an increase in copper zinc SOD could block RS propagation in the cardiomyocyte model, but this protective effect was not shown in any other models. In contrast, GPX1 had a significant cytoprotective effect in the irregular distribution and low density mitochondria and rapidly moving mitochondria models, whereas the effect in the cardiomyocyte model was subtle. Captured images of the real simulation clearly showed how each antioxidant prevents RS propagation. The reason why the main messenger RS molecules are altered by the conditions affecting mitochondrial network dynamics is the different kinetics of the two RS types, superoxide and hydrogen peroxide. From many parameters used in our model, the lifetime of each RS molecule in the cytosol is calculated. This allows estimation of the average distance that each RS molecule can travel in the cytosol by random diffusion. As shown in the graph, superoxide has a shorter lifetime than hydrogen peroxide and therefore hydrogen peroxide can travel much farther in the cytosol. This characteristic gave hydrogen peroxide an advantage in RS signaling compared to superoxide when the distance between mitochondria is large. Finally, schematic diagram of main messenger RS molecules working on mitochondria-driven RS propagation well summarized this research. We demonstrate cardiomyocyte model indicated by yellow spot, regular distribution of mitochondria model indicated by blue spot, and low density of mitochondria model indicated by red spot. When mitochondrial distribution is regular and cytosolic density of mitochondria is high, the main messenger RS molecules are superoxide, as shown in this, this figure. This is the consistent with previous research on cardiomyocyte. 
However, when the mitochondrial distribution is irregular or cytosolic density is low, reactivity of superoxide does not reach to the neighbor mitochondria. In this system, hydrogen peroxide dependent RS signaling occurs. In conclusion, our simulation results reveal that mitochondrial network dynamics determine the identity of intermitochondrial RS signaling. We show that the degree of RS propagation effect of each antioxidant enzyme and response to oxidative stress deciding ultimate fate of a cell can be changed by the characteristic of mitochondrial network dynamics. These results were published in PLOS One and it was invited to attend the review article in Communicative and Integrative Biology. Thank you for your attention.